Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Marcus and welcome back to another review. Um, today we are going to be reviewing the 1300 mAh 4S um, Turnigy Graphene LiPo batteries. It's a lot to say, but uh, <laughs> now uh, first we're going to be unboxing the, uh, the battery. And so uh, Turnigy actually really outdid themselves uh, with this one. Um, as you can see, I mean, the box is like really nice. Um, you know, so there it is. So it actually has like magnets right here to keep it closed. So it's like a really nice box. Um, doesn't really matter that much to the uh, battery, but layer of foam on the top and uh, look at that. It's like a little velvet bag. that the, uh, the battery's in, so just get that open. And here it is. Now here's the uh, battery. Um, it has a little thing right here just to uh, protect the uh, terminals. But here it is, it's a uh, 1300 mAh 4S. Um, Looks like 19.24 uh, watt hours. Um, it has a 45C discharge, um, and that's just a steady discharge. Um, I believe this one is a 90C um, punch. So um, overall, I mean the uh, the battery, the outside feels like kind of rubbery. Um, it's different from, you know, other uh, batteries which have like a, a different, like more plastic um, feeling heat shrink, you know. Uh, but this is more rubbery heat shrink. Um, I really do like the color scheme on here. Um, it's kind of it's uh, it's a red and black color scheme with a little bit of gray on here. Um, but if you have like a, a red and black color scheme on your quadcopter, I highly recommend this one. Um, for color scheme wise, I haven't really been able to find any other ones that have this exact color scheme. Um, but you can tell me, uh, you can link me in the uh, in the uh, comments below if you find another one that you believe is a uh, better. Um, but yeah, um, also a uh, an XT60 uh, for the charging port, also black. Usually find the yellow XT60s, but uh, yeah. There it is. So now it is time to uh, test the voltage, see if it's um, reliable. So 14.9, and that is pretty much the exact uh, voltage that you want on a um, on a resting battery like this. Um, you don't want it too high or too low for transport. Um, but uh, let's go and see uh, the cells are pretty balanced. So three point seven two, three point seven two, three point seven four, and three point seven three. And that's actually that's that's a very balanced battery right there. So um, yeah, it looks pretty good for right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and charge it and uh, see how long it takes to charge and, um, and see what the actual uh, milliamp hours I get out of here. So here's the battery charging guys. Um, as you can see it is at 1.3 amps. Um, I always recommend charging um, the battery at the recommended amperage. Um, as you can see, it's 1.3 on the uh, battery because um, it's 1,300 milliamp hours. Um, I always recommend doing uh, the recommended amperage um, on the first charge. Um, it depends. I mean, if you're in a rush, sometimes it's okay to use a higher amperage. Uh, but I always recommend um, using balanced charging and um, the recommended amount of amperage, um, especially on your first charge. Uh, and as you can see, it's almost done. Um, 
just need a uh, seems like uh, 0.2 more volts on it and you can see it's at 948 milliamp hours right now um, in about 44 minutes into it and uh, I'll be back when the battery is done charging okay guys so um, I'm back and the battery is full um, and as you can see it's actually the true milliamp hours seems to be uh, 1060 which is a little bit uh, below the advertised amount of 1300 um, but hey that was kind of expected um, but it took about 52 minutes and 33 seconds uh, to fully charge it so overall I feel the Turnergy 1300 uh, milliamp 4S battery. It's a pretty good choice. The aesthetics are very nice and it comes at a pretty good price of about $20 on hobbyking.com. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description uh, where to get that and uh, overall the milliamp hours, the, the true milliamp hours is actually 1100 about and uh, the advertised is 1300 so if that bothers you, uh, that might be an issue. But other than that, pretty good battery overall. Um, so thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day.